In this video, we're going to cover how to create equipment schedules from a Revit or IFC file in DraftSite Premium. In order to accomplish this, we're going to cover the following. We'll generate a couple of plan views and label all of the doors in those plan views. Then we'll organize our sheet space and place our plan view in it. After that, we'll create and apply BIM entity filters, and to finish it off, we'll generate our door schedule for specific floors. Just to give a heads up, we're going to start off with a blank file. So the first three steps will act as more of a setup for the creation of the schedule. Let's jump in and start off by creating a floor plan for the first floor of our building. Creating a plan view is easy, and we'll do so by just specifying the cutting plane and depth. We're going to call this plan level one. We can now see our new plan in the BIM Navigator. Now let's move on to our first sheet so we can place our generated plan into our drawing. But before we do that, we have to insert our title block into the sheet to display the information about the project. Now let's insert our plan view onto the sheet. It's very easy to quickly adjust the drawings once they've been placed, so let's make this clean and professional by moving the label and adjusting the viewport. It's now time to open the level 1 plan and label the doors on it. Labeling the doors is very simple, and we'll use the data inside of the BIM model to speed this process up. Let's first select the label we want to use for the doors, which is this door name block. Then we're just going to run the label all doors command found in the annotate panel under the BIM tab. That's all we're going to do to the plan, so we're going to save and close this file and go back to our parent file. Now because the plan is referenced into this file, we're going to get the notification that our reference file needs to be updated. Let's reload our reference plan, synchronizing the file. Now we have a labeled plan for the first floor that's placed on our sheet, and we're now ready to put our schedule in the blank space on the bottom here. In order to create the schedule, we're going to create a filter that only shows us the doors on the first floor of the building. To do this, We'll set the filter criteria to level equals first floor and category equals door. Now that we see our filter is applied correctly, we're going to save it so we can quickly cycle through multiple filters. Our filter is now applied to the model so it's time to use DraftSite's data extraction to create our door schedule. This process begins with creating a DET file. This DET file contains all of the preferences that we're going to use in order to generate the door schedule table. The first one will be the template, and we'll use that for each floor of the building, so let's name it door schedule template. The next step here is to define the data source for our extraction. This is essentially where we choose which DWG file we want to pull information from. We're only interested in the entities that are in this file, so we're not going to make any changes here or add any more source files. Just ensure that we have the option to include all entities in the current drawing turned on. Moving on, we can now see all of the entities in this drawing, including the BIM objects, blocks, and simple geometry. These are all the entities whose properties we can export into a table. Let's make sure we're only selecting the BIM entities. Now because we've activated the filter that only shows us the first floor doors, the only BIM entities whose data will be extracted are the doors on the first floor. In the next step, we're now presented with all of the properties that live inside of the first floor doors. This list is comprehensive and can be overwhelming so we're going to use the category filters on the right to narrow down our properties we're interested in. For this schedule, let's display each door's mark, height, width, and material into a table. 
To find those properties, we'll start by deselecting all of the property categories so we can navigate the data quicker. By selecting the BIM door, identity data, and materials and finishes categories, we're only presented with relevant properties. Now we'll go through and only select the properties we want displayed in the schedule, like height, width, mark, and frame material. Our next step gives us the chance to refine the data to meet our needs. We don't need the default count or name columns, so we're going to remove them. And from there, we can organize the columns and sort the data. Let's sort it by mark number to make it very easy to read. Moving on, we have the option to choose what format we want to export the table as, either a table in the drawing or an external file like a CSV spreadsheet. For now, we're just going to insert a table inside of our drawing. Because we're inserting a table into our file, we need to specify what style that table will be. Here we can use the standard table style or any of our custom styles. Let's make sure we title this table Level 1 Door Schedule, then we're ready to insert it. Now we've successfully extracted the data from our BIM doors to populate a schedule in our drawing. And as we can see, this table is large, so let's insert a table break to make it fit onto our sheet. Table breaks were introduced in DraftSite 2025, along with a few other great table enhancements. Now looking closer at our schedule, we can see the material cells are blank for doors 290 to 293. So we would provide this feedback to the BIM designer to let them know that they're missing some information. Now zooming in here, we can clearly see the marks on the schedule align with the marks that were automatically placed on our floor plan. Now, now that we've completed the process for one door schedule, we'll replicate it for the second floor of our building onto this blank sheet. And we can save time by reusing some of the content we've already created. Let's start this process by creating another floor plan for the second floor. Just like before, we're going to create a new filter, but this time the doors on the second floor will be shown. We can modify the existing filter and save it as a new one, which can come in handy when dealing with really complex filters across multiple BIM files. So let's now save this filter as level two doors. We're now going to quickly run through the process from before, starting with placing this second floor plan onto our new sheet. Then we'll insert the title block again. Now it looks like we need to adjust the plan and label, so let's turn on the viewport and adjust as needed. Now let's confirm we have the right filter active so we can start our data extraction for the second floor door schedule. But this time, we're going to use the first data extraction as a template for this one. This lets us skip a majority of the steps from the first time around. Now we can just skip ahead all the way to the end where we just need to change the title of the table to say level two. It's that easy to create additional schedules once you've set the parameters for the initial one. Now let's recap what we've covered. We started with the plan view generation and door labeling directly from the BIM model. Then we set up our sheet with the title block and floor plan. Our third step was to create the correct BIM entity filter that we used to create our accurate and customizable door schedule.